hey friends a few weeks ago pika dropped this bombshell of a video which stunned everyone on the internet community i finally got access to pika 1.0 and i am super excited to explore this platform with you guys they have begun rolling out access to everyone slowly if you have not signed up for it you can just go to their website pika.art and put in your name on the waitlist they have rolled out some incredible features which we are going to cover in today's video and i'm sure you would not want to miss them out so let's dive in so once you come to the website of pika you see this interface is pretty simple straight and neat forward and here you can see the work of other creators let's just try out our first example so i'll just paste the prompt here which he, which i have just gotten off discord it says a cinematic sci-fi bunny on a purple plane in the galaxy looking up to the sky with excitement low angle view dolly in unreal engine dolly in is the camera movement so once you've pasted the prompt just come here and click on this button and in a short while the video will be ready in your library so this is the result uh, from the first prompt pretty sweet i would say i think very soon all this video quality will be good enough to create full feature animated movies let's try out another example so this time i have written a biker on a motorbike speeding through the city avoiding cars speed effect again i got this prompt of discord of pika's discord server i think so now let's try out something else if you come here and click on this button parameters so here you will see this negative prompt box where you can which is pretty much self explanatory basically which means that here you can type in all the words which you want to ensure are not included in the video such as ugly bad terrible two legs aliens and things like that i'll leave a full description of this negative prompt down in the video so that if you want to use them you can use it a seed here as of course helps you in creating consistent videos and once you come down here you will see this consist consistency with text which which starts from 0 and goes all the way to 25 this basically indicates that if you are uh, close to 0 the video generation will interpret your words literally as is and if you go up further on the scale closer to 25 it will get more creative and throw out more variations so the best way to get uh, to understand how this works is you start from a lower denominator and keep taking it up and experimenting with your prompts to see which gives you results that you like right so right for right now i'll just set it be at at the default of 14 let's check out this other button i'll come here and click on this motion control so here it allows us these various camera movements like panning tilting rotating zoom and here is the strength of motion all the all the way from 0 to 4 so for this also i have realized that strength of motion up to 2 works quite well so far so let this be then if you come here and click on video options here you can select the canvas size 16 is to 9 9 is to 16 5 is to 2 1 is to 1 4 is to 5 so on and so forth and frames per second 24 frames per second works the best so i'll let this remain as is so this is pretty easy and once again and click on this and we'll see the result so this is the result i got of the prompt a bike on a motorbike speeding through the city avoiding cars speed effect pretty sweet i think this one's pretty nice so let's try another incredible feature that pika is offering so if you see all these buttons here if you click on retry pika will just simply reattempt this so i'll click on this so this prompt once again comes here and uh, once i click on this it will go ahead and give it another attempt and as you can see here they have organized it very neatly and nicely for us if you see this block this one here is the first attempt and the second attempt will be shown here so later on one has the option of going through all of this and choosing the one that they want and here this is the second attempt this time i don't think this time i think it's come out a bit weird there's something weird happening with the face so we'll let this pass let's try out another one 3d animation style depiction of albert einstein classic physics lab setting and i'll just go and click on enter let's see the result here is the result pretty sweet although i think this there's some sort of a matchstick flo flying around in the background that seems a bit weird so let's look at the second result here this is the second result this one's nicer much neater and there is no wonkiness happening in the background 
तो लेट्स ट्राई एन अदर वन साईफाई नियॉन लाइटनिंग नियॉन सिटी लॉन्ग हेयर गर्ल मास्टर पीस विंडी मूव हेयर एंड दिस टाइम लेट्स गिव इट सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ कैमरा मूवमेंट सो आई क्लिक ऑन दिस एंड आई विल गिव अ ज़ूम इन इफेक्ट एंड आई विल क्लिक ऑन एंटर सो दिस इज द रिजल्ट प्रिटी नाइस आई लाइक द लाइटनिंग मूवमेंट बिहाइंड एंड द जूम इन इज अ बिट स्लो सो नाउ इन इन पीका वन पॉइंट ओ देर इज एन इनक्रेडिबल फीचर वेर दे लेट यू एड टाइम to the existing video which means by default they are just giving us 3 second videos but they allow us the option to add another 4 seconds for that just come here and click on these three dots and if you see here just come here and click on add 4 seconds so here you can see in the prompt box 4 seconds have been added and let's just click on enter to see the result so this is the result of the video with the added 4 seconds so this is a 7 second video now and if you like the result you can just go here and upscale the video and then download it for free so let's check out some other incredible features of this uh, website so so once again i'll go back to the prompt box and here you can see image or video so let's this time try and add an image i'll click on this i'll upload an image which i downloaded from mid journey the image of a pretty girl and once the image has been uploaded either you can go ahead and describe the story or you can just click enter so i'll just click enter for this video and we'll see the result and this is the result it had a bit of rain water in the background so pika has added motion to the rain pretty good so i'll show you guys the results i obtained from adding other pictures let's quickly run through them look at this this was again an image i created in mid journey pretty nice it's got a slow zoom motion let's look at another one Look at this. This was once again an image I created in Mid Journey and added to this. So now let's check out another incredible feature. If you see this aspect ratio, it seems like a one is to one. So you can just come here and click on these three dots. So you can just come here and click on Edit. Then come here and click on Expand Canvas. And right now, as you see, it's a one is to one canvas. So let's select nine is to sixteen. So let's select sixteen is to nine. Let's say for a YouTube video. and just describe it a little bit girl in girl on a rainy night and i'll click on enter so here you can see the expand canvas has been added to this and i'll click on enter and let's wait for the result so this is the result with the expanded canvas it expanded the canvas from a 1 is to 1 ratio to a 16 is to 9 with just a basic simple prompt and i think it's done a pretty reasonable job with the rain in the background Now let's look at another incredible feature of Pika 1.0. I'll just click on this video. I'll click on edit and this video is transported to the prompt box. You can come here and click on modify region which is basically the in painting feature of Pika and this gives you the selection tool. So I'll just go and put it here and then I'll I'll just write what I want. So I'll just write a pair of sunglasses and I'll click on enter so let's see what the result is like so here so here pika has added the sunglasses to this model which i made in mid journey not bad this was another attempt not up to the mark as we cannot see these uh, holders so but yes it's a pretty incredible feature one would say so here you also have the option of uploading a video and further creating an another one out of it using pika Now let's go ahead and explore Pika and see some of the work done by other creators. This is a cinematic shot of a wolf on a cliff, a realistic Fuji film. A cinematic a cinematic medium shot of a wise goddess Athena dressed in flowing white robes standing beside the male Greek god. They exchange in a knowing glance hinting at their shared wisdom. This one looks very real and very cinematic. Let's look at this. Girl slowly opens her eyes and looks at viewer looking at the camera explosion. Not very impressive. Let's look at this. A small girl with a nervous pet monkey clinging to her back biking quickly down a mountain. Pretty nice. I really like this one. A slow dolly shot of a multicolored neon glowing river and forest one gorgeous sci-fi planet sci-fi fantasy. And here you can see this is an extended shot since it's Seven seconds, and now let's check out some incredible work by other creators, which I saw on Twitter. This one is by Captain Haha from Twitter. 
दिस वन इज बाय एलेक्स यूटोपिया दिस वन इज बाय स्कॉटी विक इनक्रेडिबल वर्क This is by Blaine Brown. It's a cute little dog. And this one is by Daniel Volaki. This farm was my home until my stepmother brought new husband. I'll sell all your astrogator. Don't care. Don't know what it is. Gonna be an astrogator. Did you memorize all charts, kid? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you will certainly enjoy this video, which is coming up here on the screen. where we have discussed two more incredible ai video generators if you don't have time right now save this for later as no video is more important than your time i will continue to strive to make more such videos to see how we can leverage the power of ai for our greater good if you enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel as it really helps my channel thank you and see you in the next video